What is going on, lunatics? Every day I try to get my way through here as quickly as possible, and every day I fail. So we're going to start faster this time. We're going to get the news that you need in order to navigate this space for the day. Am I going to cover everything? No. Am I going to miss a few things? Yes. Why am I going to do that? That's what Happy Caddy Crypto is for. Come on, bro. You The details. There's a secret something getting ready to happen, as a matter of fact, and he's got the inside details on it. So uh, let's kick this off and let's get after it. By the way, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Make sure you share it with everybody. Uh, go retweet it. Go re-exit. Whatever you call it. Just go do it. Go. Go do it. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to start off this action today because we're to get a little bit of a recovery in the market. However, this is off of a major dip. So is this going to lead to an explosive sort of move? I don't think the answer to that is yes, but let me show you what really is kind of breaking down here. Now, uh, you guys know that I'm talking about these certain levels uh, that we're, we're going to hit here. This is the one hour chart. So uh, this is just kind of an idea of what the hourlies have been doing. I've been just curious as I zoom in to see, you know, what's happening here. Now, in the last hour, let me show you what you got. In the last hour, you had a nice and significant little spike as the prices started to uh, move pretty robustly. The U.S. market woke up and I guess was in a buying mode. I, I don't really know or, or understand exactly what's going on, but here we are. So uh, what is does this mean? Well, we're, we're bouncing off of the golden zone off of a Fib retracement. And what that generally means is we should be testing the next range, which is uh, 8,002. So I would suspect that this right here, we had this little false sort of break upwards. Uh, I think that'll complete the move into this eight range. And then of course, we're gonna have to break it up here and continue on with it. But you know, it's looking like the market might allow it. Now, before we go any further, it should be noted that Arthur Hayes, the founder of BitMEX, he just shorted Bitcoin at 56,000. He thinks that uh, we're probably going to go down a little bit further. So that would mean that Luna Classic, everything else is going to go down a little bit further if he is right. And I don't know that he is or not, uh, but I mean, he's right at how it looks. So that being the case, um, USTC down significantly to uh, point uh, at one point five eight seven cents. Of course, you now it did dip down here, so you know it's. I mean, you call it a breakout if you will, but you can see right here that there's a, a pretty good trend line that's kind of developed here for a potential breakout. And you probably go back here and you make an argument that it's been happening for a little while. Uh, but for for this little range right here, we're we're sort of range bound, uh, continuing on a downward trend. Also, this is looking like uh, the same thing is happening. Now, by the way, this is coming from the, the upper echelon here. That means that we've got downward momentum. This is a bearish indicator at this point, but a lot of this is based on capital in the market. So I'm gonna suspect that what we'll see is we'll see a reversal of sorts and a spike up into this range maybe, and then bounce around here before breaking out sideways and then carrying on. Now I did show you that already over here saying that that's most likely how it's gonna play. Now, if it spikes down off of a dip, remember the market's still gonna buy it back and push it probably back up into this range. If it doesn't push it back up into this range, then we gotta talk about lower lows and we might expand this little brand here uh, if you will, down to, uh, you know, around this region here, which would be the top of this little impulse spot right here for trade volume. So uh, if we move out a little bit more, then you might see, yeah, so we might actually end up down here in this 12 range if that were to happen. Uh, so, you know, uh, manage yourself accordingly. Uh, uh, you know, just remember here that there is a uh, kind of a big support level at 1.2 cents, just in case, again, just in case this market that's what I think should happen. Uh, also, uh, by the way, uh, Luna is not exactly setting it on fire either. So if you haven't done anything with that yet, understandable. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for an impulse move off of Luna, off of a massive burn. I didn't want to do anything with mine just yet. Uh, I want to you know, let it ride for a little bit longer and then I'll make a move. Most likely just going to buy a bunch of Luna Classic with my Luna. So there we are. Now, as far as news goes, um, Classic Core Dev reveals major update on tax to gas. Um, on Friday, he said it's completed work on tax to gas and upcoming major 
character upgrade. What does that look like? Well, this is the statement from Genuine Labs. Now, in the event that you were sleeping under a rock and you didn't know what was going on, uh, Lunk Live, Mr. Diamond Hands, called out uh, Genuine Labs because they had not been uh, reachable or contactable for about 12 days. So, uh, Genuine Labs issued a statement this morning. Hello, community. Over the last 12 days, we've been silent as we've been working through some internal issues among our team in which involve threats, harassment, and responsibility deviation. We have addressed these and found a viable solution. Uh, we would like to address that any information coming from any participant that is not Genuine Labs or Lunk Live is misleading and in no way, form or fashion, a statement from Genuine Labs as we haven't had any contact with anyone Per other person or entity. Now, remember what I said yesterday, and what I said was they tend to go missing, and sometimes they just don't communicate, and that's what's happening here. They're just not communicating, and they've had some internal strife. Now, remember, there was a proposal put up in order to get paid before the work was completed that another person in the team said, look, this was an error. We shouldn't have done this. Uh, vote no on it, and we'll move on. Now, uh, is that uh, significant internal strife? I would think so. I would think maybe we're even having somebody move on, but that's, again, internal for them to figure out, not me. During today, there was a text that was sent from one of the Genuine Lab accounts through a Telegram chat, and right after the message was uh, sent, we were banned from the chat itself. Tax to gas is finished, and we will focus all our efforts to finish what we started and provide the Luna Classic blockchain with a finished product deployable on-chain, so further testing will be done on RebelNet until satisfaction is met moving forward please make sure to get your information regarding our work directly from our source or lunk live to avoid misinformation and accurate date uh, being spread i assume that means data uh, we look forward to the path ahead and we are positive together we will make lunacrats great again now of course you've got a bunch of people in here why is it always drama with lunk uh crypto musk it's drama with everybody it's not limited to luna classic uh you know and, and look let me just say this if you're not reading the room here it's about greed Everybody wants me want price go up. Me want sell token. Okay, uh, it's very simple. A lot of people bought up here, uh, and, and I'm speaking to you right now. I'm speaking to you right now. Crypt Musk underscore Krypton. Uh, we all want price go up. We don't want uh, price go down. So that's what's happening. A lot of people bought up here. A lot of people bought over here. There's a lot of people. We're in the down trend here. So there are a lot of people that bought at much higher prices that want to see the value of their investment go up, not down. And, um, you know, can't fault them for that. That's why there's always drama, because there's always money involved, real world money that's involved. So Genuine Labs has issued a statement. They're working on it. They're on Rebel Testnet. They're working their way through this. Uh, they're, they're getting it functioning and working. So we'll see what happens from there. But um, that means that tax to gas getting very, very close to being completed. Uh, people have been talking about, well, maybe we should just, re re silly stuff, okay? Maybe we just turn off taxes and, and, and things like that. No, we shouldn't really do that. Uh, also, uh, one more thing here. Um, 12 one twenty four came up. Yes, I can't. I believe if we are ever to repeg USTC, we need to start building collateral to back it. This is a signaling proposal, creation of a collateral pool. So uh, that's going to be uh, in the vote. So in, in the event that you are looking uh, at, at what the voting thing is, we'll get that here. Let me finish this. Um, so tax to gas uh, right out here. Now, and look, this the question here, it, will USTC and Luna Classic rebound? I think the answer to that is probably going to be yes. Yes, because there is something else going on. <clears throat> All right, we have this that popped up from Happy Caddy Crypto. Something big is coming today. Lunk community, the community will have to decide. Drop a like and retweet if you are ready. Uh, everything will be revealed before the day is over. So uh, this is an us thing. Uh, is it positive, negative, positive? Uh, how big? Pretty big, to be honest. I don't make empty threats. Uh, so, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what this is yet. Um, so, you know, we'll have to wait and see, you know, is there some kind of proposal? Something like that. Happy, here we go. Create a new chat, which has a nice vibe on Telegram. Apparently, there was some good news coming too. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm all ears. You can join below. So, if you want to, you can go in here and you can join that. Now, um, it only takes one man to fell six points. Um, there, there's a uh, lung community. I was right. Now what? Um, so, if you want to go check that out, make sure you go check that out. Probably uh, interesting information over there. Now, as far as this goes, I'm sorry that it's light like this. Uh, I, I'm not connected anyway. I had to reset my computer. Uh, so now, uh, the the talk, the community, the 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 the, the community uh, is going over establish a lunk maintenance and review team as an idea of what to do. Uh, quick unstaking. This proposal is prepared to introduce the quick unstaking option. Um, I don't know. Uh, the topic has already been discussed with no success. Uh, I don't. I don't 
you know, look, it, it makes no sense. We're in 2024. Uh, you can stake and unstake stuff at, at will. There's no 21 day waiting period. So uh, to, to, to hold it for 21 days to me is kind of nonsense to begin with. But, but, but if you, the community supports that, I support. It. Um, so then pause on chain tax, not going anywhere, of course. Uh, vesting commission earnings, create a collateral for backing pool. And then, of course, the uh, Mr. Um Tombstone pile driving everybody who I don't like is uh, out here uh, doing that same thing. So, um, you know, nothing really changed over here. Uh, as far as coin haul goes, now I am not, I don't have anything. Um, I'm not connected to anything today. I'm, I'm disconnected from it all. So uh, Terra is up 4.5%. Juris is up 2%. Uh, rest of it down. LMT down 26%. LUNW down 29%. Boys down about 8%. Boys just fantastic. Like, is it not ripping? Is it is it just me? Or has the boys token really, really, really had a, a nice run so far? Now, uh, if you, you know, just grant me here. If we're talking about uh, a move, look at this. Was this this is really just kind of playing out perfectly. Uh, we've just hit that. Uh, we hit the golden zone, bounce back up uh, almost perfectly. Not not exactly, but almost perfectly. And now we're coming back for a retest at that 5.0. So we're getting back into that golden zone again. If that happens, then I would suspect that we're going to do at least another test up here into this range of 13s. Uh, maybe even again testing this high and then moving on from there. So uh, the boy so far has done a, a pretty significant and, and cool job. Uh, of managing this whole process and, and creating some enthusiasm uh, for their. Over the next few months, there's going to be several major announcements for Cryptonomy.finance. Guys, the bull run is about to kick off. That is a big deal. And in conjunction with that, I am continuing to accumulate more and more of my favorite cryptocurrencies. Let me show you what happened. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin off of this in over six months. I staked 0.21 Bitcoin right here and got 0.0124 on a three month window. Now I'm gonna make another deposit because as you can see here, I'm big on XRP. We're gonna do one more big XRP deposit. 10,000 more XRP, six month staking process. That's a 32% yield. Also, let me show you, I just made a withdrawal here uh, 0.09 Bitcoin off of my last flexible staking option and finally and this is the big one guys I keep telling you this it's the launch pool get into the launch pool create a contract I'm gonna make a new contract with six ethereum right now it's a bronze contract profit sharing is 50 50 we're gonna do that right now done all right guys, that's what we're doing we've got a bunch of these set up remember this last one that I completed uh, I, look I can't tell you how important it is for you to stake or crypto. You see the numbers right there. Start staking with cryptonomy.finance today. Project. So uh, but let's move on. Galaxy Station, we got a signaling proposal. We got a couple of different things here. Now, uh, again, I am not logged into anything. So um, let me just go with the signals here. Okay, there we go. So, uh, we got 12126, proposal to improve the governing module uh, by BLB Labs, and then the signaling proposal, creation of a collateral pool, and then a maximum uh, validator increase to 110. A lot of resistance being being fought on this one, despite the voting being pretty positive at this point. Let's go to Lunk Dash to check that out. You're welcome, Happy Caddy. Uh, so uh, increasing maximum validators. Let's go look at what the voting looks like for that. I'm certainly interested. So far, everybody's voting yes to increasing more validators. Uh, we've got two people here, uh, Lunk Burn Program and Moonrunner voting no. Nobody else has voted no to anything like that. So far, uh, there's still four days for the voting to end. Uh, it looks like at this point, it might have it looks like we might be getting that. and look it's important that we have if you want true decentralization this should be open to everybody there shouldn't be a limit of a hundred i've told you before I, I i'm not going into all nodes but i told you before there's an actor here that has too much influence over this space and i have a lot of people who tell me oh no they're benevolent they're benevolent yeah all gods are supposed to be benevolent but when they have too much control over something that's centralized whether you like it or not and whether they're good or not that is still centralized so either we're decentralized or we're not and i don't care one way or another by the way just just for the record here i like decentralization um, but i understand that there is a necessity here that not everything is going to be fully decentralized it just unfortunately doesn't work that way we don't even have a website we don't even have a website so anyway uh let's get back because i'm losing here it goes again 
so uh, here's the uh, here, here's the 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 charts right now. Volume still down, but price start to go up uh, again. It's all oh, Jesus Christ. My eyes are going to explode. Uh, same thing over here. We're up eight percent on trade volume, but it's only three point five million, uh, and then we're up a little bit on price action. Hopefully, that's going to continue. Uh, as far as long burns go, one point four seven, uh, one point four five billion. So you know, not a not a significant supply, but there would be if you were over here uh, working on Terra Casino and doing some risk-based gaming, uh, sports wagering. Did you, the Chiefs and the Ravens last night, did you bet, did you get did you, did you get in it? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. PvP poker, uh, roulette, blackjack, baccarat, all of this stuff over here. Now, of course, I'm showing you my screen over here, so I'm pointing to it, and you're seeing me point in this direction over here, but it's really kind of up here, right? Who cares? Anyway, so uh, guys, go over here and check it out. Uh, we're gonna be doing some changes to this, by the way. The sponsor of the channel, long-term sponsor of the channel, and um, Terra Casino, same thing. Like, we, we love Terra Casino over here. We love Terraport. Uh, and and by the way, again, I'm not connected to anything over here, but you can see over here that uh, on the trending line that we actually have some increases in price action because price go up. We're starting to get some price going up. Uh, if you want to earn, then again, I'm not connected here but in the staking pool, uh, you can see right here that everything is sold out. Now I'm only in this 19% one, uh, but uh, you know uh, the 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 16% one for 14 days is still open right now. But that's it. That's it. Like this is starting to manifest itself. They're going to have to create more liquidity and open up the pools a little bit more potentially. Um, but but this is fantastic. I mean, when we started this, remember when we started this and we started doing this, you could have gone into any one of these four right here. You know what? Now there's only one left. That's big. So there's a lot going on here in the background. So um, we're going to cut this short now at this point. We're going to say, look, go watch the video from Happy Caddy Crypto if you need to know a little bit of information about what is is going on over there um, and, and you know we'll, we'll get you the information as soon as I have it whatever thing he's got going on should be very very interesting will it lead to price action movement I don't know maybe it will maybe it won't uh, but it might be important for the community also the same thing uh, what's gonna happen with tax to gas soon as it's implemented it's gonna change the dynamic of stuff will everybody know about it right away no not really we don't get news in that kind of fashion we don't digest it all the same way but things will start to change dramatically. So that's my time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you hit the like button on the way out. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.